I realize the situation may be a little bit difficult to explain, so I thought a short video may um, make things a little bit easier to understand. I basically have two multi-select elements, and they have been assigned different option lists. This first one has a list of four stores, so store one through store four, and this does not have any conditional um, logic applied. It's just a general list. The second list, however, is uh, multi-smart two, and the first choice I have up here is other, and because it's the first choice, it'll, it will always be displayed um, no matter which stores were chosen from the first multi-select element. And then you can see that I've, the conditional logic has been applied in for bitwise statements that need to be used uh, when using a multi-select element. So you'll just come in here, and once your um, list has been generated, you'll just add in your conditional logic. And this statement can be found in the wiki at the link listed above. So basically, now that you see how this is all set up, let's jump over to the device view and see what it looks like. And if I create a new record, there's two, uh, two elements here, both multi-select. And if I select store 1, 3, and 4 here, you'll see that I have uh, the ability to select from store 1, 3, and 4 as well from here. And other is going to always be available. Now if I change this and deselect 4, you'll see that this has been removed. I hope that helps explain how to uh, use conditional statements and the multi-select element.